everyone, it's Lisa here. Welcome to another Hero Words video. Today I'm going to show you how to make stamp tissue paper flowers. These flowers can be used as table decorations or to decorate cards. And I'm going to start out by showing you how to make the larger flowers that you can use for table decorations. Okay, so to get started, I went ahead and stamped the Cling Variety and Quality Stamp on white tissue paper. And I went ahead and did this because you're going to want to let this dry. And I wanted to mention too that you're going to want to stamp this on scrap paper because when you stamp on the tissue paper, the ink will leak through to, to whatever surface you're stamping on. So you definitely use scrap paper for this. And you can use any ink that you would use on paper when you're stamping on tissue paper. So chalk ink or dye ink or pigment ink, you'll just have to let it dry a little bit. And I also wanted to mention that these flowers work great with any of the bigger cling stamps or the design block stamps. They all work really well because then you can do it all in one swoop. Okay, so then the next step is to go ahead and cut out the tissue paper uh, stamped image after it's dried. And then we're going to want to distress it. So if you were going to make a flower like this, you would do this to about eight different layers. But I want to show this one today and it only uses the one stamped layer. So you'd repeat this step for however many layers you have. So you just cut it out after it's dry. And then we're going to take the Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. This is the tea dye. And then one of these uh, ink blending tools. This is a foam applicator that I'm using on here. But you can use like a makeup sponge or uh, whatever sponge you have handy that's kind of fine. And this is the reason you wanted to let it dry because this ink, when you put it on here, it will smear if the ink that you stamped with isn't dry yet. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of uh, getting the ink on the applicator and then I'm just kind of putting it just here and there. I'm not trying to be precise or anything. And I think it looks better when you actually leave some places white like this. And that looks pretty good. So this step is done. Okay, now for the next step, I went ahead and cut out um, seven different squares of this pink tissue paper, and I'm using two shades here. This is a really light pink, and then here's a dark pink, and I just cut them out to be the same size as the stamped image. Okay, now for this next step, we're going to take some wire. This can be any kind of thin wire so that it can wrap around the center of the tissue paper flower. And then I have some vintage buttons. I don't know where these came from, but I've had them for a really long time. But you can use any kind of button. And I think I'm going to go with this one today. And you're just going to thread the wire through the button. So this one has this kind of a shank on the back. But if you had one with like four holes, you could go ahead and put the wire through all four holes. And then we're just going to kind of center it on the wire. And then I'm going to give it a little twist so it stays in one place, just like that. And this wire can be any color because we're going to cover it up with the floral tape later. Okay, so now we're going to make the flower, and I just put the stamped image on top of the stack of squares, and then we're going to accordion fold this just in, oh, I don't know, just about one-fourth or a half inch folds, and we're just going to fold uh, the whole way across, and you'll want to score this pretty well. And they don't all have to be exactly exact because this is going to be fluffed out when we make the flower. So there's the accordion folds. Then we're going to take 
the uh, button wire that we already did before and we're going to go ahead and wrap it around here with the flower I mean with the button hanging off and we want this to be kind of centered in here so let me hold this here so that you can see just about like that and don't worry about this too much because it'll be pushed down in the flower and then we're going to give this a good twist like so and then what we're going to do is you have two options here you can either make this into a point like a pointy shape here or you can round the edges so I think I like the rounded edges best for this and once again this doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be fluffing it out like I said so just go ahead and round this just like so that looks good and then what we're gonna do is fan this all out and then one by one lift these little layers to make the petals so I think I'll just do a few of these for you so that you can see it and then I'll go ahead and finish it up off camera to save time I'll show you the fluffing part but that looks nice and then you can see how the flower center is going to have this button so just keep doing that okay so now I'm all done fluffing the tissue paper to make the petals and it looks like a peony to me I think it looks really cool and then to finish up we're gonna go ahead and uh, take some floral wire which I've cut a little stem here and then some floral tape and you can find this at the craft store and then what we're gonna do is just kind of smooth out this part where we uh, made the flower with this piece and then just lay the uh, stem that's made of the green floral wire right next to it and then what I do is I just wrap this kind of put this as close as possible up in here and then just wrap around the stem with this and then to make this look pretty and nice we're just going to go ahead and put this floral wire over top and hopefully I can do this so that you can see it but this tape is kind of self sticky like it sticks to itself and so what you do is you just put this like right let me see there we go put this like right up against there and then just kind of wrap it around itself so it sticks to itself and then just keep wrapping around the whole thing so just wrap all around the wire to cover it up and then I just kind of twirl it like this and it goes pretty fast hopefully you're seeing this and that will cover up the wire that's around the flower and hold it on there and I twisted the tape a little bit but that's all right and then you just go keep rewinding until you get to the end and then you can just trim it off kind of squish it there with your fingers and there you can see here let me hold this up you can see the edge and there you have it then to make the smaller flowers for the card, I did the same thing, except I just cut the stamped image in half so that you can make two flowers from one stamped image. Thanks for watching and hope you try this technique soon.